Hello dear subscribers and watchers, what's up? This is Vivs from Slagnut here. In this video, I'm gonna show you inheritance with the help of a simple example. In my previous two videos, I've been talking about inheritance, what is it, what happens without it, and we dig a little deeper into what is a subclass, superclass, and how multiple inheritance hierarchies can be created using inheritance in Java. So in this video, it's time to test all these things in action. So what I have in NetBeans is nothing great, just a plain empty old class called inheritance test. First thing I'm gonna do is create a class called class A. Inside this class, I'm gonna add one variable which will be called something like int A over here. And I'll give it a value, let's say five for now. Now the next thing I'm gonna do is create another class that extends from this class CA or A, what you call it. I'm gonna say class. So inside this class, I'm gonna create another variable called int B equals to 10. So at this point, both are unrelated but now what I'm gonna do is inside my class CB I'm gonna inherit everything from class CA by writing one simple statement put a space use this keyword called extends and I'm gonna write CA over here what this means is that class CB has its own stuff plus the stuff copied from class CA that we have here so at this point if you go to our main method and if you try to create an object by saying cb b is new cb now this object which i'll probably call as ob so that you guys can clearly see what is going on i'm gonna say obj dot as you guys notice you can clearly see the options for accessing both a and b over here because when you extend something a copy of the super classes methods and variables are made inside your subclass so I could directly have access them over here inside my main. I can make a method here, let me do that. So inside the system.out.println statement, let me print the value of b which is from this class. I can also print the value of the variable that I got from our super class which is a over here. So now if I go and say obj.displayb, I can simply run this by saying shift f6. And as you guys notice the value 10 belongs to b and the value 5 is the value of the variable that was copied from class CA into our class CB over here. Now the same is also true for methods. You can go here inside CA. Let's say there's a method called public void display A over here. So I can also call one of these methods because even the methods are copied into my class CB. So I could directly write display A just like I'm trying to access the method that belongs to the same class. Now if I run this again, you will notice that there is 5 and there is A over here which is nothing but this statement executed. Now I can have multiple levels of this thing happening, right? Like for example, I can go down and I can say class... Now when I say class C extends CB, this is gonna get the stuff from both the class CB and CB which in turn gets everything from class CA both these things are gonna be present over here. In other words, if I make a variable, let's say int c equals to 20 over here, let me just try to print this with the help of another method. So at this point, inside my display c method, I've tried to print the value of c. I can also access the value of b, which was obtained from the super class, I can also access the value of A which was obtained again from the super class itself. Now remember, even though we did not declare it over here, since A was copied inside CB, that is accessible inside your C as well. In other words, it keeps building stuff. Like you have more and more classes, everything from every super class is accessible inside the lowest subclass that you have. Now you can also call this method display B over here. I can also call display A over here as you guys notice inside my display C. So I can go here make an object of C instead. And if you notice right now I have C object is new C which is an object of my class C. I can call the display C method. I can also call the display B method from my main over here. Like I can say object C dot display A, B, C. You can see all three options are here. I'm gonna remove the B one and I'm just gonna run this by saying shift F6. And as you guys notice, there's a whole list of things that are getting printed right now. Let's try and understand them. First, there is the variable C, which is 20. Then there is B, which was derived from our class B over here, which is 10. If you guys remember, there it is, B is 10. Then there is A over here, which is derived from the super class 
that is this and above over it from A over here that is phi over here then there is our display B method that gets called this display B is right here the statements are like this where it's gonna call the we'll print the value of B which is 5 A which is 5 and it's gonna call it display A which is gonna print A over here that you see the first time and then the next time you call display A that's the other A that you see here in other words they keep building from one class to the other as you keep extending them and you can have multi-level inheritance now this is what you call as multi-level there are several levels over here but you cannot have multiple in other words I cannot say class C extends from CB comma CA this would work in C++ but this does not work in Java a class can extend only one class at a given time if you want to extend multiple classes there is something called interfaces in Java for that we'll be talking about it in the upcoming videos so this is the basic idea behind inheritance now again there is a whole lot of things that we have not discussed here that is about how constructors work how the super keyword works and stuff like that now we'll be seeing all these things in the upcoming videos in the next video we're probably gonna take up a real more meaningful example of inheritance try to understand how we can use it in a real problem in the meantime if you guys do like what you saw please like this video share this video subscribe to our channel and let us know your thoughts in the comment boxes below thanks for watching we'll catch you guys in the next video have a nice day